Hey guys, this is ChrisLink.com. Again, today we got another tour for you today. It's a pretty, pretty basic one again, like you know, like always. Um, this tutorial is going to be on temporary folders here. Um, uh, we're going to show you how to basically speed up your computer a bit. Um, let me go give you a little backup um, basics to a temp. Temp does not stand for the degrees of a computer. That's a totally different story. But whenever your computer uses temp, such as this right here, um, they're standing for temporary. It stands for temporary. So, like, if you ever see someone type in temp folder, they're talking. It's a temp spelled folder wrong, but when uh, whenever they type that, they're talking. It's their temporary folder. Now, it's this is going to speed up your computer in a few ways. We're going to show you a few type of temporary folders. As you can see here, this is one of them. This is uh. This is how you get to it. This is one of two ways. This is one of two ways you can get to it. As you can see here, you can copy this. And as you can see the path, users, Chris Link, app data, local temp. Now this is a hidden file. So if you really just wanted to, bring up here, copy and paste that right in there. And you guys can see there's a bunch of BS in here. You can delete a few there. And uh, you just delete them. Temp stuff is data that does not mean, like, Data that is only temporary data. It's just you know temporary. You know temporary. So it's self-explanatory, guys. Temp stuff is just stuff you don't need. Like you see here, everything, even this dot t e t m p dot t m p. Stands for temp. So. Oops. I can't even spell temporary today, but it stands for temp. We'll put it that way. All right, TMP stands for temp. It's just a quick way for them to do that. Um, we'll get the spelling right here in a second. I'm just too lazy, guys, to uh, type that out for you today. Um, another way you can do that is you hear dot is or it's just parenthesis or uh, percentage temp percentage. Now, since I told you guys it is a hidden file, you go up here, search, you type in percentage. Um, or it won't copy and paste. Anyways, we'll type it out, I guess. So, percentage TMP. There, and then it finds that temp folder. Um, basically, what the percentage signs do, it brings out hidden stuff. I mean, because if you go here, it's there. But uh, let's say you go to, let's go to users, go to Chris Link. There is no, you see this app data? There is no app data. So, you've actually got to literally come up here, put. Oh, one second. You've actually got to come up here and type in APP, capital A, and then capital D, data, forward slash, or backslash. I don't know why it's not working. Um, oh, we'll get that in a second. I don't know why it's not working. I think it's because we don't have this, but... There we go. I don't know. But once again, as you see here, there's nothing there. Let me see if it works now. APP data. Okay, it works now. It must have been because I didn't have the C drive in there. If you see a C, you're going to want that C drive and users in front of that. You're going to want that. Um, you can see everything's there, and then you just go to your local. Don't go to roaming. Um, I mean, that's just your stuff that's basically using internet junk. I don't know how to describe that to you in a better way. But you go to app data, local, temp. And this, and then what you do from here is you see all this stuff. Unless your computer will tell you if it's using it, you just hit delete all, and then you're gonna see here skip. Do this for all your current items. Skip. Do this for all your current items. Skip. And this right now is your computer is using these temp folders right now. This plug temp. Um, I think I know what that's using, and same with this one. I'm not sure on those others, but uh, normally your temp folder is deleted on startup. But I'm just teaching you guys today on how you can do this. Now, X out of that, and we'll leave this up for you guys. I'll show you another way you can go about doing this. Another way is, you'll notice Firefox, when you download things, it also does that. You go to Tools, go to Downloads. Now, you're going to want something in here, so you can right-click and go to Download Page, or no, uh, Open Container Folder. Now, you can just delete this junk, too. There's a picture of my sister, and you just delete that, too. So for that, and then you can just clear list, and that that clears out your downloads for Fire uh, Firefox. I 
Windows Explorer, all that stuff works the same. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory, guys. I mean, you know, TMP stands for temp. This is how you can get to your temp folder. You can go the long route if you guys are really up for it, if you want to learn how to get to it manually. Um, remember that the parentheses or percentage signs it helps you find um, hidden files. And uh, from there, uh, if you guys are a little lost, go a little above the uh, video and you can see a little description about this right here. So uh, thank you again. This is ChrisLink.com and I'm ChrisLink. Um, thank you for watching.